What are the common myths and misconceptions about hearing loss and hearing aids? That's today's topic on Ask the Hearing Doctors. Hi, I'm Jim Cuddy, and this is Ask the Hearing Doctors. I'm joined by Dr. Anna Anzola, Dr. Wendy Thorne, Doctors of Audiology at Hearing Doctors, the Washington, D.C. area's highest rated audiology practice with over 1,500 five-star reviews. Anna, Wendy, thank you as always. Let's jump right into it. Myths and misconceptions. We'll start with age. Hearing loss affects only adults older than 65. No. <laughs> no, definitely a myth. So, you know, it can affect any age. Um, one in five children can be affected by hearing loss. Um, and I know we had talked about, you know, our youngest patients we see are like four or five and I have one that's 102, you have one that's 103. Yes. So any age, it doesn't discriminate. Speaking of age, hearing aids make me look old. Well, do my glasses make me look old? I mean, come on. So it, it's just, it's, no, it's not true. I'm too old to benefit from a hearing aid. Definitely not true. No. <laughs> not with 102 and 103 exactly. oh, year old patient, I guess not. All right. I am too young to wear, wear hearing aids. No. Sounds like you've already debunked that one as yeah. well. Yeah. It's, it's so, especially if, you know, a baby is born with hearing loss, it is so, so, so important for their speech and language development to aid them immediately as much as soon as possible. All right. Now, communication. I don't need hearing aids since my hearing is mostly fine. But it's never too, you're never too old. You're never too young. You know, if you need something, get something, do something about it. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Why do I need to do anything now? Oh, uh, because you know what, unfortunately is permanent typically and progressive by nature. So the sooner you do something or you take action, the better off you're gonna be. Yeah, and if you don't do anything about it, it can actually uh, just get worse at a much quicker rate. Hmm. Most people with hearing loss use sign language. No, no, no. I mean, it could help, but no, not at all. Okay, because if I do have hearing loss, learning a whole new language, <laughs> I don't know. We're really definitely to I had you. I had enough trouble with Spanish, and so yeah. um, people with hearing loss are pushy and rude. Absolutely not. No, no, absolutely not. Then how do you explain my wife always yelling at me? <laughs> no, I think that what I think what what happens is that if you're having a conversation and you're not hearing it, then you may be perceived as being rude because you're not answering accordingly. What about the other side, the other way around? So I'm speaking to somebody who has a hearing loss, I'm raising my voice, and they're taking it as I'm yelling at them. Right, exactly, so don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Get your hearing checked. <laughs> All right, well, there's multiple lessons here on today's podcast. Um, hearing aids fix your hearing perfectly. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's never like your no natural normal hearing, um, but it's definitely better than nothing. And you know, we're always gonna do the very best we can. Our technology's the greatest, so, but again, it's not like your natural normal hearing. Yeah, technology's advancing every year. Um, it, a hearing aid will never be perfect. People often complain about the going into a, a, a restaurant, especially a big restaurant that's really noisy, and they yeah. take their hearing aids out. Do you run into that with people doing that? Perhaps they have the wrong instrument. Uh, perhaps ah. they have the wrong technology and you have a mismatch. So and a lot of the restaurants too are just way too loud, whether you have hearing loss or not. You know, I have normal hearing in some restaurants I go into, I'm like, I cannot even hear. It's way yeah. too loud. Yeah, yeah. Too, ma too many decibels. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes, you know, um, look at the time. Maybe you don't go there at eight o'clock. Maybe you get there at five o'clock and it's not as crowded. Take advantage of the early bird special. Take advantage yeah. of that too. <laughs> uh, if I'm hearing impaired, it's just a matter of turning up the volume. Yeah, sometimes, depending on the type and degree of loss. But no, it, sometimes it's more about discrimination, more of a high frequency hearing deficit, not a low frequency. So we perceive volume from the low frequencies where we all perceive um, uh, discrimination from the high frequencies. Ah, okay. Now let's talk financial. I can save money by just getting one hearing aid. You can Could. save money, but you know, it's best if you have hearing loss to aid in both ears. And if you have hearing loss in both ears, you only fix one ear, you're still going to struggle. You're, and you're probably going to have more problems with 
telling where sounds are coming from. So it's we've talked about that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the difficulty of, of being able to hear in one ear and not not as well out of the other. Yeah, and the other one tends to just get worse too because mm-hmm. you're not correcting it. So you tell me which which ear do you not want to hear out of? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming, right? <laughs> uh, bargain hearing aids work just as well as the expensive ones. No. So like an, like an over-the-counter solution. That could be a simple solution if you had a perhaps more of a mild hearing loss. But if it was my hearing, I would want a professionally, a professional to professionally fit it to my needs, not just something over-the-counter. I mean, I have, you know, cheaters, and I can just put them on, and I can see it okay. But if my eye deficit, just like my hearing deficit, was greater, I would want a professional mm-hmm. to look after my only organ of hearing. Well, you also, I guess, would run into the, the issue of, I recognize I have a hearing loss, I'm just going to take care of it myself. In other words, I know I can't see very well, I'm just going to go buy readers at the drugstore. Right. Is that kind of the attitude that people are taking? I mean, is it not even, they're not even going to see an audiologist? Uh, some people, but here's the thing, um, a mild hearing loss is not even, sometimes it's not perceived by the individual. Mm. So they're not the ones jumping, like... Uh, right away, you're jumping to go get your eyes fixed or something just because you want to be able to read. You go to a restaurant, you can't see, you ask for the light, you ask for your wife's you know, uh, eyeglasses or cheaters, and you can do a good job. But with hearing, I think it's when it gets a little bit more into a more moderate or significant hearing deficit, that's when most people tend to take action. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to borrow her hearing aids. <laughs> I'll borrow her glasses, but I'm not sticking her hearing aids in my ear. Anyway. <laughs> We'll save that for another time. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll just take care of that at home, actually. Uh, health. We've talked about a lot of health issues in the past. My type of hearing loss cannot be helped. That's, you know, there's always different, there's so many different options as far as hearing aids and different management strategies. So, you know, what works for one person may not work for the other, but that doesn't mean that there's not something else that we can try for you. Hearing loss doesn't affect the rest of my health. We've, we've been <laughs> down this road before, <laughs> but we bring it up again because so many people continue to think that it doesn't matter. And it does matter, it's so important. Mm-hmm. And again, the communication that we have with the patients, with the family members, um, with their uh, primary care, uh, health care provider, I think is so important. And again, we take more of a holistic approach to hearing, um, and it's, it's in your best interest. Hearing loss isn't a big deal since it's not fatal. It, you know, so we, I know we had talked about the safety aspects of it, so it can definitely cause safety concerns. You know, if someone doesn't hear well and they're crossing the street and they don't hear a bus coming, um, or they mm. don't hear someone coming up behind them, um, being in a house and there's a fire and you don't hear the smoke alarm. So right. it's, not just you know about improving communication which is important but it's also you know being aware of your surroundings around you a safety issue it's not it's not directly fatal but it could lead to major problems whether fatal or injury or 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 otherwise Um, surgery can heal hearing loss oh at times it can absolutely but you know get it checked out first know your scores, know what what type of issues you may or may not be having, and then we have really close relationship with the ENTs in town that can really help with that. Hearing loss is inevitable and can't be prevented. Um, Actually, wrong. (laughs) 30% 30 of hearing loss can be uh, prevented. Wow, that high a number. Yeah. Again, remember hearing protection? (laughs) Right, right, yep. So when I go to that next concert, um, hearing aids are like glasses. This kind of goes back to the over-the-counter question, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there are multiple solutions out there. Again, we can start with the over-the-counter, but then eventually the hearing loss may need something a little bit more sophisticated, uh, more customized, something that can be really addressed by a professional, like a hearing health care provider. And another one that we have touched on, but again, people don't seem to understand this or, or know it at all, Vitamins and supplements won't affect my hearing. Correct, correct. I mean, it'll help your overall well-being, and I think that's great. Um, But again, just get it checked out. Your hearing is too important. Okay. Anna, Wendy, as always, thank you very much. Great information. Loved it and can't wait to do it again soon. 
If you're in the Washington metropolitan area and you'd like to schedule an appointment with hearing doctors, click the link in the description or visit hearingdoctors.com.